Hello and welcome to Geeked Play Studio tutorial. And let's look more on modeling and our hexagon tutorial. And what we're going to do is work a little bit more with the lines, shapes and curves. So let's go right here and create our shape and for this we'll just use a polyline. We'll click and just go it straight line. Maybe a little bit this way. So line right here. There you go. So we have it the shape. And let right now create circle. I'll go around. Grab this size. Enter. Let's set rotate horizontal. And put it down. And now what I want to do, I want this shape going around the circle. So with circle is selected, we'll go to surface modeling to extrude line. Click on extrude line and now select our shape. You see how it's applied now? So we have it swept around. Let's press enter to validate. The one thing what you may notice sometimes you will have it like right here, small hole, which is not closed. And to fix it this, or you need to be move bottom very close to the center, or you can just select it, go to vertex modeling, going to the close, click on this, says validate, let's click OK. Select this middle, press enter, and it will close this opening. So in here we have it, our kind of bottle already modeling. You can modify if you want apply small changes. When um, your object is selected, we can go to select faces. Just go around like this. Select it so we'll be sure everything right selected. If we notice this portion, for example, we don't want them selected. So let's actually go right here and try one more time. There you go. Now it's selected only object that we want to be selected. We can actually make it smaller. And go like this. And modify this way. So let's press enter again. Go to object mode. And you will notice we modified our object a little bit adjust for what we have it before. Okay, let's you can save this object and can you can create a lot of different bottles now for your pirates if you have it any. Okay, so let's um, reset it. And we go again to the lines and let's lose it use it um, interpolated curve. You can use any other ones. But before you start um, creating shape, you will notice right here we have a range. You know what this range does? If you notice just between two points, it's how many segments you have it. So we have it four, that's what was selected before. If you want, you can go down to three or two. So let's select three for now. And we'll go around like this and Let me select it. Some shape, base kind of shape. Let's select circle again. Want to do this way, go around, rotating, put it horizontal, and to do this, you can just hold it when you click on this, hold down shift, you see the blue arrows appears, and this will lock to 45 degrees if you need it. Okay, let's go put it down. Move it. It's actually not necessary to align, but I like to do this so I can kind of center it. Now a circle is selected. Let's go to surface modeling. And we'll go again and use the extrude line. We'll click on this. Very nice. Let's press enter. Okay. We'll select this object. Right here we're going to validate our curves. Anything. And let's go to vertex and let's close it this opening as well. So here is a vase. One thing, for example, for this vase, I want to maybe make something handles. And this is much more easy to do now. So let's go to select on this side. And maybe, you know what? If you have a hard time to select true, what you can do, you can actually select 
this way. And so we position them. Okay, and select right here. In this case, we can select symmetrically. Let's have it other ways you can do this, but for now, I want you to practice so you can have it feeling three dimensional kind of model in two dimensional space. So we select those ones. Let's go right now to our sweep surface. We'll click on this. And here is similar what we done several times before, which is go very carefully around and we'll make a shape of the handles. Let's uh, right click, make it a little bit smaller. Right click again, make it even smaller. And more segments we give it, it's smoother it will look. So here we added handles to our base. Of course you can do, if they look very um, edgy for you, you can select model and you can go to increase smoothness. And we can pop up smoothness more so it will add this nice kind of very smooth surface. Um, price to pay for this with a smoothness. If you go here and um, validate this, it's what increases it's increased polygon so it will become more of this. And it will take a little bit longer time to load it and it has their own minuses to do this. But big plus. Again, it will look very smooth, very nice, with high resolution. Okay, so let's delete this. And then, if you want, you can save it and practice to create different bottles, bays, add handles to the sides of them. Let's look on other ones, tools, what we have. Okay, so we used the extrude line and you notice it's actually the icons is very helpful and explanatory. So we have a shape, we have a curve, and we apply curve to that shape. So it will really create this way. The sweep line, it is you take your curve and it will be like middle line and shape will apply around this. The press, this presentation, if we create, click on curve, let's create, maybe you know you want to create a pipe. Just going around so we created this let's create circle okay uh, you know what let's decreasing so it will be a bit and press enter okay. to validate okay now we'll go to the service modeling and this is will be our um, shape and this is our path line now will be. So we'll select this, we'll click on a sweep tool and we click on a path. And you notice what it did? Let's apply the arrow shape to this path so we're kind of creating the pipes. And this is very nice for the city when you start creating your custom on walls pipes or you want some other shape, not necessarily pipes. You can do any other custom shapes you want to apply to this path. So you can use a sweep line for this tool or screening. Okay, and let's look now on the our roulette surface. So we create a pipe, so we can delete it. And uh, let's go to the line. We'll just create maybe curve a little bit right here, going one curve on the top. Let's go ahead and create another curve on the bottom. So what a surface does when you create, you can click beginning curve and ending, and it will create connections between them. So the one thing you also need to notice, it did not, it won't create um, sections, so it will just uh, separate in your inner lines between two lines. So if you need to add additional, this way you need going to um, vertex, going to free translate tool or select by edge and going select this way okay so when clear up our pipe
so we clear the pipe after when we're done and next one I want to show you um, other tool which is kind of nice when you try to create maybe wings or any plots and so let's go to take our curve and we'll just create shape one right here we'll take polyline and maybe go So here we have a few shapes. What? Let me adjust this one just slightly. This one go a little bit down here. Okay. And we'll go to surfaces now. We'll click on roulet surface. We'll select top one and we'll select bottom. And you notice now we have it kind of done um, connections in the face between both of them. So let's press enter to validate. And also if we preview right now, you can see how the connections was made. So right here we look on several options we can creating with the lines and surfaces. I'll go ahead, experiment, create your different shapes, um, try to create maybe barrel, uh, let's create bottle. Actually, you know what? Let's do an end. We'll just repeating one more time and we'll just create a barrel. So you can reuse it. So we'll go right here, little bit around here. Okay, there you go. Now let's go create our circle. We'll go around. We we'll won't have it too many polygons. So let it and put it down. But I want increase a little bit in size maybe a little bit more it's right here okay let's go to surface again click on extrude line click in for now let's have this closing down right here so we'll go to vertex close click on this one let's click on top as well so we close from both end and here you go we'll have it very fast we created the our barrel. Oh, let's put that, that you can reuse in your models. In your modeling stuff. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.